السلام عليكم مرحبا بكم في ويبينار جديد هنا على اكسبيرينس اي اي دوت كوم تسجلوا كاع الناس اللي التحقوا بينا مرحبا بكم في دوره اخرى ككل يوم احد مع ثلاثه ديال العشيه تنتلاقاو واليوم قبل ما نبدا نهضر على البروغرام غادي نقدم لكم سيس قصير انا خريج جامعه الاخوين كلاس 2007 2007 وسعيد جدا انني نكون مقدم ديال هذا الويبينار اليوم عندنا واحد المحطه مهمه ومهمه بزاف لاقاش غادي نتعرفوا على سكول اوف ساينس اند انجينيرينغ فتحوا لنا الابواب ديالها غادي ندخلوا ونشوفوا جميع المعلومات جميع البروجرامز اندرغراد ماستر غادي نفهموا كل شيء نتلاقاو مع الاساتذه اللي كاين تما يتلاقاو مع الدوايان يعني جميع الاسئله ديالكم متعلقه بالنسبه للسكول اوف ساينس اند انجينيرينغ ان شاء الله غادي نلقاو لها الاجوبه اليوم الوغ اولا قبل كل شيء بالنسبه للناس اللي جداد مرحبا بكم اولا وثانيا نعرفكم شويه على البلاتفورم اللي خدامين فيها احنا الان كما كتشوفوا الصوره ديالي كاينه هنايا وفي الجنب عندكم آه عندكم ملتيبل تابس عندكم تشات عندكم كويشن عندكم تشات اند كويشن تشات جنرال ديسكشن مرحبا بكم يو ار سين هيلو اي سي هيلو باك تو يو ذيس از وات ذا تشات سيكشن از فور تشات سيكشن غادي نحطو فيها ايضا الروابط لي ليان لي زيميل لي خاصينكم فاش كدوز شي معلومه وباش باش تقدروا تقيدوها ولا تعقلوا عليها غادي نكتبوها لكم في تشات سيكشن سيكند تاب از كويشن والكويشنز مهمين بزاف بزاف تقدروا اننا نجاوبوا على جميع الاسئله ديالكم كاين واحد التاب مخصص ل الاسئله لك عندكم شي سؤال ما تطرحوش في تشات سيكشن حطوه في الكويشن تاب هكا نقدروا نفرقوا ما بين جوج ونقدروا نلقاو الاسئله ديالكم بطريقه اسهل واحسن الا كان عندكم شي سؤال وديجا لقيتوه بلا مطروح في الكويشن تاب تقدروا تاب فوتيو يعني تقدروا تصوتوا عليه باش كيطلع في الرانكينغ وبحال هكا نقدروا نشوفوا اكثر الى اللي كانوا لي كيستيون اللي ديجا اب فوت الا كان عندك نفس السؤال شفتي بلا هذاك السؤال تقريبا عندك نفس التساؤل ديالو تقدر تاب فوتيه وديك الساعه الكويشن كطلع هي الاولى مرحبا بكم مره اخرى نذكركم بعجاله بعجاله الحلقه اللي قبل ديال هذا الويبينار هضرنا على هاو تو بيكام اي او اي هضرنا على الادميشن هضرنا على لي تيست كاع الاسئله اللي تقدروا تطرحوها على لي تيست على لي كونديسيون ديال الولوج لجامعه الاخوين جميع هذه المعلومات كاينه اون ريبلاي في اكسبيرينس اي او اي دوت كوم تقدروا تشوفوها اون ريبلاي وكاين حلقات اخرى اللي دوزناها هضرنا فيهم على الماستر ديجري تلاقينا مع خريجي جامعه الاخوين اللي تقاسموا معنا القصص ديالهم السكسس ستوري ديالهم اذا كاين بزاف بزاف ديال الفيديوهات اللي يقدروا ينفعوكم يقدروا يجاوبوا على الاسئله ديالكم التركيز ديالنا اليوم غادي يكون على سكول اوف ساينس اند انجينيرينغ اي ام اكسايتد اي هوب يو اكسايتد تو بيكوز وي غونا ليرن سو ماتش اباوت ذا دايفرسيتي اوف اول ذا بروجرامز ذات ذيس سكول هاز تو اوفر اذا طوال هذا الويبينار غادي نطلب منكم انكم تكونوا مركزين معنا بزاف لان كما شرت العاده كنربحوكم شي حوايج هذا بحكم واحد الاخوين سويت شيرت اللي غادي نشوفوه الان على الشاشه آه الاخوين آه سويت شيرت اللي غادي تقدروا تفوزوا به غير بالجواب على السؤال اللي غادي نطرحوه عليكم طوال هذا الويبينار ما غاديش نربحوكم سويت شيرت واحد ماشي جوج ماشي ثلاثه غادي نربحوكم ربعه ديال لي سويت شيرت لا بيرسون اللي غادي تجاوب آه في اسرع وقت في الشات سيكشن كما كتشوفوا هو سويت شيرت غادي نربحكم اربعه اذا ركزوا معنا طوال هذا الويبينار مرحبا بكم مره اخرى نبداو تو سويت نفتحوا الابواب ديال ديال سكول اوف ساينس اند انجينيرينغ وانا سعيد جدا انني يكون اول اول ماي فيرست جيس از ذا دين تاج الدين رشيدي هو از بروفيسور اوف كمبيوتر ساينس اند هي تيتشز بيج داتا انفايرمنت اند ابليكيشن اند سايبر سيكيورتي غادي يوضح لنا جميع هاد الامور ويفتح لنا هو بنفسه الابواب ديال سكول اوف ساينس اند انجينيرينغ وغادي يهضر لنا على الكي ديفرنشيتين فاكتورز باش كنهضروا على الاي يو اي ترانسفورماتيف انجينيرينغ اكسبيرينس دكتور تاج الدين الرشيدي السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام فيري هابي تو بي ويز يو سي يو سيف اند ويز فيري هابي تو هاف يو ويز اس اوكي سو السلام عليكم اونكور اون فوا سو بيفور اي 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 توك اباوت ذا ذا هول رينج اوف اكسايتينغ بروجرامز ات ذا انجينيرينغ بروجرامز ات الاخوين يونيفرستي اي وود لايك جست تو سي ا كابل اوف ووردز اباوت ذا واي وي دو ثينكس 
So uh, our mission is uh, basically to give engineering education. So we are the engineering arm of Al Khawain University. Uh, but we are very much focused on 21st century education. We know that the way engineering has been taught in the past is completely different from uh, the requirement of, of today. Uh, just to name but a few, uh, the use of technology is, uh, <clears throat> is becoming uh, more uh, prominent in, in today's learning about engineering. So uh, uh, perhaps I, can, I, I would like to show our audience the, uh, the, the first slide that yes. shows our mission. That's, uh, هو صراحة كنعيشو فواحد الوقت اللي فيه التكنولوجيا مهمة بزاف بزاف وأنها كتبدل دغيا دغيا يعني حتى المسار ديال ديال الدراسة خص يكون مواكب هذيك السرعة ديال 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 التجديد في التكنولوجي طبيعي الحال سو كما كتشوفو as you as you see so that's a plaque that is posted uh, uh, at the entry of the main building of engineering it's our mission it's there to remind us of uh, what we do every day so this is to say that we are very much focused on uh, on engineering and that plaque is there to remind us of that so that we don't get distracted with other uh, other things basically so so that's our mission we do engineering and we trust there are many other components at the university that help in the uh, in the training in the education and in the building of, of, of engineers. But we will focus in really on the core engineering uh, uh, skills, knowledge, and, uh, and attitude. So that's the first thing. So now that's our mission. Now our vision is, uh, is really uh, very unique. Uh, so again, we're very much, we know that our role, we're very conscious of this, that we have to transform the students. So when they come to us, they may not know much about uh, engineering, True, some of them know, know mathematics, they know physics, they know chemistry, but that's not, that's the, those are just some building blocks of engineering. So what we do and throughout our curriculum is to transform them, to make them engineers. And uh, <clears throat> one, and so during this uh, transformative experience, we're very much focused on giving them purpose. Uh, and this is key, really. And, and, and I, I've, I've been also an, an engineer student and I know how I was, how it was lost. Uh, so we're very much, much focused on for every single student to find what they want to do with their interest. So you will see that some, uh, for instance, some of them may be interested in doing engineering, but to go into the research field. Yeah. Others, they want to do engineering and work uh, in an IT company. Others, they want to do, they want to make, they want to start up their own, uh, their own uh, enterprises and, and be entrepreneurial and, and so on. So we very much focused that every student after the four years of transformation, yeah, they find a purpose. So this is really key. Uh, the second very distinctive thing that I believe uh, uh, nobody does it in Morocco is that again, we're very much focused on giving our students the best return on investment and the best value on investment. So we, we very much care about students. We do follow them, we know uh, uh, what they are doing in life with their engineering education. So we make sure that they are some self-learners because everything changes and I'm sure that the audience would concur with me. Uh, things change so, so fast and unless you're equipped with some basic tools to adapt to the change, you will not be able to cope. So uh, we, we, we equip them with the tools to be able to change and follow the whatever technology, whatever trends comes uh, into place. So. Uh, now, the, uh, so two, I would like the audience to remember two uh, differentiating factors. So one of them is we, we transform our students. Yeah. And the second one is that we are giving them VY, value on investment and return on investment. Uh, and the second is that this engineering, third one, sorry, is that the engineering experience is delivered within a liberal arts type of education. Again, this is unique. It doesn't exist in Morocco. doesn't even exist in Africa. So we're... Uh, it's liberal arts, but uh, uh, engineering within liberal arts. So, uh, Yusuf, I think, uh, and I've been at Lachawin for, for 25 years, and I've seen how, how, 
how in fact uh, uh, we manage to transform our students, how successful they become after they graduate from the School of Engineering. And if you can add on the engineering, because at the time it's a change. It's a state of mind. It's a transforming a student into uh, making all his talents uh, cope into one goal. Still. Learning, كما قلت لك باقي العلاقه مع الطلبه اللي تخرجوا من سكول اوف ساينس اند انجينيرينغ لان دائما كاين واحد واحد الكيرف ديال الليرنينغ اللي تبقى معك طوال حياتك وهنا كتوجد راسك باش انك تولي يعني شخص اللي يقدر يتادابت اوسي لو شونجمون ويتادابت اوسي لي تكنولوجي جداد اللي كي كاينين في السوق ولا كاينين في المجتمع ديالنا Absolutely, Youssef, absolutely. And I'd like also to show our uh, guests uh, the next slide that shows yes. our success stories. It's, uh, I think it's important that we... Uh, so I'm just going to walk you through. So here, here's an example. So mm -hmm. these are some of our students, yeah? And they, through uh, our extracurricular activities, they managed to find a purpose. So some of them, they wanted to be uh, expert programmers and they... They want, in fact, to compete in, in national and international competitions in programming. Others, and you can see here that they, they won the Moroccan uh, competition six times in a row. And I also trust that we will win it also the next, uh, next semester. Uh, uh, so this is just to tell you how, uh, how, uh, how good, in fact, the, 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 the student, how good we train our students. And the second uh, uh, success story is about a bunch of students who find okay, they find their purpose in building robots and in competition in competing in robotics competitions and here again they uh, just uh, last uh, maybe the four months ago they won the national competition again in robotics a very challenging uh, environment where you have to fix your robots and program it on the fly and and accommodate to the changes uh, that are occurring on the scene uh, so, uh, so yes, uh, we're doing engineering, but we're doing it differently than anybody else in Morocco and in Africa. And uh, by the way, we should uh, congratulate uh, all those teams who uh, on this uh, success, and they are just uh, putting the Al Akhawain flag high, uh, so that we can prove uh, once again how how uh, how unique is this program. Yes, absolutely. So let me. So here is a here are some some some. Uh, big players in fact that trust uh, that trust us and, and it, this is not just uh, from now uh, I, I remember right from the beginning uh, our students in fact they've been hired uh, by microsoft at redmond in uh, in the us and today we have so many of them that join uh, google research that join google development uh, not to speak also of ibm of microsoft those are some big players but also we have some national players that love to hire from us. Uh, Intelsia, for instance, uh, S2M, which is a Moroccan champion in the banking and uh, uh, banking sector. Uh, Cap, Cap Gemini, of course, um, uh, um, Tijari Wafa, almost all the banks in Morocco love to hire from Hawaiian University. And again, because, comme on dit en français, c'est des têtes bien faites, qui peuvent être à peu près وكيقدروا يعطيو لا فالور لونتربريز اللي هما خدامين فيها. باغفي. تفضل سي يوسف. اذا اذا احنا كما غادي طوال هذا الويبينار هل التذكير بالنسبه للناس اللي يلا التحقوا بنا غادي نهضروا على الباشلر بروجرام اوف كورس غادي نهضروا على الماستر بروجرام اوسو ولكن طوال طوال هذا الويبينار غادي نطرقوا ايضا الكارير اوبورتونيتيز. اللي غادي نحاولوا نجاوبوا على هاد الاسئله كاملين وحنا غاديين وكنديروا ديسكريبشن اوف ذا ديفرنت بروجرامز وغانا توك اوسو اباوت كارير اوبورتونيتيز لان الطلبه الان اللي مخرجين وكيفكروا يعني في دي زيتود سوبيريور بدا كيفكروا في اون كارير كيفكروا تيبروجتاو ديجا في اون كارير بروفيشنال كارير سو اتس ريلي امبورتنت تو ساي اوسو وات كامز نيكست اند وي هاف اكزامبلز وي هاف سكسس ستوريز الحمد لله في جامعه الاخوين عندنا دي زيتوديون كما قلت لكم في الحلقات السابقه اللي تقدروا تترجعوا فيهم On replay at experienceaway.com, to put successful stories of people working all around the globe in engineering position, in business in, uh, position, and, and, and so on. Absolutely, Yusuf. So, uh, so, uh, uh, so uh, yes. what differentiates our programs? What, yes. what, what's so special? So, first, they are very diverse, and they have been done after a very careful study of. The, both the Moroccan market, but also the global market needs. 
So the 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 whole uh, spectrum of programs that my 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 colleagues and fellow faculty will present, they have been designed with that in mind. So we all of them they serve one niche of great importance, uh, both nationally and also at the the global scale. Uh, so the uh, the uh, the uh, let's say the one again differentiating factor is that many of our programs are accredited uh, or en français certifié si on peut dire okay by uh, by a, 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 a us based body that uh, accredits uh, almost more than 1000 universities so so this accreditation for us is a is a mark of excellence so they it's 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 a long process so we apply for it and we have to demonstrate that we are very much in focus on what we do that we are very aware of what's happening in the world around us both nationally and internationally that in fact that we close the loop that whenever there are changes or or or, or we are we are very agile in, in implementing those changes so that we always give the best to our uh, engineering students so uh, a bet accreditation is uh, as far as i know there is nobody in morocco and perhaps one or not even one in in uh, in Af university in africa who got that uh, that accreditation so many of our exciting programs are accredited uh, the ones that are freshly created they are they have been designed with that in purpose so we, ap we are applying for their accreditation too لقس هذه القضية مهمة ومهمة بزاف لقس سهل أن الواحد يقول أنا هو الأحسن مكاين ولكن فاش كيكون واحد العين بروفيسيونيل يعني اللي عندها اللي عندها كاع الباك جراوند نيسيسير باش أنها دير واحد التقييم لواحد البروغرام أنها تقولها هذا شكل واحد آخر أز يو نو أكريديت باي ذا أكريديتيشن بورد أوف إنجينيرينغ أند تكنولوجي شكرا بزاف دين دكتور تجدين رشيد تبقى معنا بقى تبقى معنا طوال هاد طوال هاد البرزنتيشن بيكوز غادي ندخلو نهضرو على لي ديفرنت بروغرامز غادي نبداو بالباشلر بروغرام ونهضرو على الكمبيوتر ساينس بيزد باشلر بروغرامز قبل من هكا كما وعدنا كما وعدنا الناس يعني غادي يكون بزاف د الحوايج اللي غادي يربحوا اليوم من ربعه ديال لي سويتشر وجي فيو ديجا كانت في الاسئله في الكويشن تاب كانت سؤال على لي سويتشر اذا السؤال ديالي الاول سهل وسهل جدا وات از ذا نيم اوف ذا اورغانيزيشن ذات ذا سكول اوف ساينس اند انجينيرين بروجرامز ار اكريديتد باي فيرست بيرسون تو انسر اون ذا تشات And I think they, we already have a winner. الناس يعني متبعين معنا مزيان شكرا لكم. دونك اول شخص اللي جاوب على هذه يفوز بسويت شيرت ديال جامعه الاخوين والناس اللي خدامين في الاخوين غادي يتصلوا بكم اذا باش توصلوا بسويت شيرت ديالكم. اظن ان الفائز راه ديجا معروف. I think that we have a very good audience. They've been very attentive. I... Exactly. Now I'm seeing the 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 the, the number of answers, and the, it's it's really nice. Okay. Uh, congratulations, Ahmed. Voila. Uh, it's in the chat now. It's official. You won the first sweatshirt. Don't worry. There are three more to win. Just pay attention throughout this webinar. If we're going to go to the first stage, we're going to talk about bachelor program. So we're going to talk specifically about the computer science based bachelor. Program. And we're going to start with my doctor Violeta. فيوتيل فيوليتا كافالي اللي هي تتقري الارتفيشال انتليجنس لانجويج اند لانجويجز اند كومبايلرز واللي غادي تلتحق بنا نيت باش تهضر لنا على الباشلور اوف ساينس ان ارتفيشال انتليجنس اند روبوتيزيشن تنهضروا على لو فيتور لو فيتور اي ديجا لا روبوتيزاسيون او لانتليجنس ارتفيسيال غادي تلتحق بنا الان دكتور فيوليتا كافالي واللي هي غادي تفسر لنا ان بو بلوس لهذا البروغرام هيلو دكتور Hello. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Bonjour. Uh, good afternoon. I'm very happy to be here, too. Um, it's interesting um, to think about the fact that today art uh, artificial intelligence is 64 years old. It was born formally in 1956, which is a very important year for Morocco. I'm sure you all know that it was the date at which Morocco acquired its independence. It's also the date at which some of us were born, and we'll let you guess who. <laughs> um, now, um, since it started, artificial intelligence has become a really broad field, uh, covering many uh, specializations. And the goal of our Bachelor's of Science degree in artificial intelligence robotization is to give you a broad view of this field, 
the main applications that it tackles, uh, the variety of approaches and technologies that are used, and um, build for you a set of skills um, that you will always be able to go back to no matter which challenges you are faced with. So one thing to keep in mind um, as I talk is that what you're going to be acquiring through this bachelor's degree is a great toolbox that you can take very many places. Now, um, your journey in artificial intelligence is going to start uh, with a general course that will cover uh, many concepts such as how do we characterize intelligence of agents as they act in their environment, how we frame the general problem of solving problems, uh, how we search for solutions, optimal or less optimal, how we uh, represent the knowledge that is needed to solve those uh, problems, and uh, how we reason with that knowledge. And one thing we don't forget to do is to consider the very, very important topic of ethics in artificial intelligence, which is now starting to touch all layers of society in many, many domains. Now, with that kind of a base, uh, you will then go on and study the very popular topic of machine learning. Machine learning is basically uh, a field whose goal is to discover patterns in data. And you know that these days, data is all over the place. It's what we live and breathe. And so uh, here we'll be looking at mostly statistical approaches. But what's important to keep in mind about machine learning and the very related um, field of, of data mining is that you can apply these techniques and tools to a variety of domains ranging from financial uh, prediction to um, diagnosis in medicine. Another type of data that's really important is uh, text. So today on the web, we have a huge amount of text and we want to mine this text for information. Um, so, for example, you might want to look for things such as what is everybody thinking about a particular product? What is everybody thinking about a particular politician? What kinds of topics are trending in the news and in the social media? Uh, we also use tools to extract knowledge from text that can be used in other uh, situations uh, for, for a variety of different tasks. And we also use computers to dialogue with humans and to... Um, and to help uh, humans dialogue with each other over a minute. Uh, in, in this degree, you also have uh, some options. So you can also choose to go more towards robotics, which is the embodied intelligence embodied in a physical being. Or uh, you can choose to stay more at the abstract uh, level. Um, and so both of these are choices for you. If you choose to go towards robotics, you will be learning about technologies such as image processing. Uh, movement, robotic movement, uh, planning, and uh, speech uh, synthesis as well as speech recognition. If you stay uh, in the uh, more abstract uh, disembodied intelligence, we'll probably be looking more at statistical methods for predicting making strong inferences from data. And in both cases, you will probably be taking a course in um, uh, artificial neural networks. Very, very trending topic today. Um, also, you will have an experience uh, which is of your choice to either become a competitive programmer and join our team of successful winners. Also, um, or as an alternative to that, you might be able to um, engage in robotics competition where we build robots in response to specific challenges. And we've been successful there too for a few years. And um, and on top of that, uh, or in addition to that, that's kind of up to you, you will be able to engage in research experiences one-on-one -on -one with faculty members or, and or a small group of students. So it's a great panoply of options that you have. And one thing to remember is that if you do artificial intelligence and you study its mm -hmm. technique, you will never be bored with what you do because you will be able to go and work in a variety of fields. Yeah, it seems like it's um, uh, something that we talk, that we hear a lot about, uh, even for people who are not into engineering, we hear about it all over the news, books, and science fiction movies, and it seems like it's a, an open field and uh, a lot of exciting things that can be done and still can be done in this uh, field, and still a lot of things to learn in this field. Dr. Violet. Yes, definitely. I think it's, it's, a, it's a field that has no boundaries in the future. 
Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Violeta. I, uh, I, I we will move to, to the next uh, Bachelor of uh, Science, and this one concerns uh, big data analytics. And uh, for this, uh, I will uh, be glad to have Dr. Omar al iraqi uh, join us. Uh, he teaches computer uh, networks, uh, enterprise application arch architecture, design, and development. Uh, he's going to talk to us about the Bachelor of Science in Big Data uh, Analytics and also among others because we're going to talk also about cloud and mobile software engineering. We're going to talk about computer science and uh, computer systems. Uh, so he's joining us uh, on stage. And here he is. Hello, Dr. Lairaqi. Hello, uh, Youssef. Thank you very much indeed for the in invitation. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. And I'm glad to see such, a, such an active audience, uh, very uh, lovely students interacting and, uh, and answering questions and asking questions. This is the kind of students we'd like to have in our uh, School of Science and Engineering, really. Thank you, uh, Dr. al uh, Now, we're going to talk about uh, the, the, the Bachelor of uh, Science in Big uh, Data Analytics. Can you take us through that particular program? Hello, I think we have an internet uh, connection issue with Dr. Omar al We will try and uh, re-establish the uh, internet connection and just as a reminder for those of you who are with us sometimes uh, if you if you see a, a bug whatever just refresh your page it usually works and gets the uh, webinar uh, going uh, again so uh, uh, waiting for uh, Dr. Omar mm -hmm. to uh, join us maybe I will uh, seize the opportunity with Dr. Tajdin Rashidi to talk uh, about um, cyber physical system it's a bachelor in science in cyber uh, physical system we're gonna shuffle a little bit in the in the in the program but uh, we need to to just uh, waiting for dr omar Iraqi to join Absolutely. us again. okay so this is again one of our computing based uh, programs so it's called the bachelor of science in uh, cyber uh, physical system so let, Please, uh, 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 can you, the team, can you, can you shoot the slides so that I can show the audience what this bachelor is all about? Yes, please, uh, we have, the, and, uh, we have uh, Dr. Iraqi uh, back uh, with us. Uh, let's cover a cyber physical system real quick before coming back to Dr. Iraqi. Okay, great. So let me just show the, the audience. Yes. So this is, uh, <clears throat> okay, so it's called Bachelor of Science in Cyber Physical. So this is a big name. But just to say that so this is uh, all about the industry 4.0. So industry 4.0 is Taurus Sinaia Rabia. Okay, so uh, from now on, uh, there is no industry, you know, there is no manufacturing plant that will work disconnected from the cloud, from the, the power of the of, of doing calculations, of doing artificial intelligence. So in so in this bachelor. Students will learn about all the techniques and all the concepts and uh, and all the algorithms of, in fact, connecting an industrial plant uh, with the cloud so that we can close the loop and take more intelligent decisions. So this this bachelor basically is all about those smart things that uh, you, you you hear of: smart grids, smart uh, cities, uh, uh, smart uh, uh, smart manufacturing plants, and so on. So. So, for, for for the so this is an extremely in in, in demand uh, uh, expertise. Uh, like I said, we for 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 obvious reasons for competition for also uh, for efficiency, we connect in more and more of the industrial plants to the cloud so that we can do eventually artificial intelligence. And then feed back the decisions to the plant so that we can do just in time things, we can do real time decisions and so on. So it's all about the smartness uh, that you hear of. And if you enroll in this bachelor, you will be ready to, in fact, go in power Moroccan or even uh, global enterprises and global plants with the, with the power of uh, Industry 4.0. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Dr. Tajdin uh, Rashidi, for 
very clear uh, explanation of, 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 of cyber physical system uh, program in the Bachelor of Science in uh, cyber physical, uh, physical systems. Now, uh, let's go back to Dr. Omar Al-Iraqi, and uh, we're about to talk about uh, big data analytics, and specifically the Bachelor of Science in Big Data Analytics. Uh, thank you again, uh, Yusuf. I apologize for these technical uh, uh, issues. So, uh, if we had to describe the technology world today using just three adjectives, these would be uh, intelligent, big, and agile. Alam technology alium, alam zaki, dakhm. Our computing-based bachelor programs, as explained by Dean Rashidi, have been very carefully designed to cover uh, uh, a large spectrum of fields. And one way of uh, seeing it is, is that uh, these programs revolve around these three adjectives, intelligent, big, and agile. For example, the um, uh, AI and robotization uh, program presented by my colleague, Dr. Cavalli, addresses the intelligent part. This program, the Bachelor of Science in Big Data Analytics, focuses on the uh, big trend. You see, before I finish presenting this slide, one billion emails will be sent. More than 20 million videos on YouTube will be uh, uh, accessed uh, and about the same number of searches will be performed on google every day we produce about three quintillion bytes of data a quintillion is one followed by 30 zeros this is huge this is too much data and moreover coming from a variety of sources and, and under different formats. This is what we call big data with all the challenges this big data uh, creates. Uh, big data analytics domain addresses these challenges. And uh, hence, the, the very specialized competencies needed uh, in the field are uh, on the rise. I mean, the, the, there, there is a, a, a high demand for, for such, uh, for such uh, competencies. This uh, unparalleled uh, program, the Bachelor of Science in Big Data Analytics, has been specifically designed to address this need and to provide our students with the necessary uh, knowledge and practical skills to shine in uh, this uh, domain. Um, so if, um, if you want to be that engineer uh, that all big companies are looking for because big data has no secret to hide from you then this program is for you كان شحال هذيك المشكل في قله المعلومات دابا كاين فائده ديال المعلومات وكيبقى نفس المشكل هو كيفاش نقدروا ناناليزي وناخذوا ذا بيست ديسيجنز اوت اوف اول ذيس داتا Dr. Amar Iraqi, I don't big data. Uh, we're going to talk now about uh, the uh, Bachelor uh, of Science in, in Cloud and Mobile Software uh, Engineering. Okay, very good. So uh, I'll just address the, the uh, big adjective. And prior to that, Dr. Cavalli addressed the intelligent uh, aspects. Uh, now we're talking agility, agile. Uh, you see, agility is a strength that any one of us would like to have. Any one of us would like to be agile, would like to have this ability to move and adapt to changes uh, quickly and easily. In particular, in the professional and business world, 
agility is much sought because changes are more frequent and much needed for a variety of uh, reasons. For example, uh, sees new business opportunities, uh, uh, have a competitive advantage, or cope with situations like the one we're living now, this coronavirus, we're all, uh, we, we, we all agree that uh, such a situation has required and continues to require from all companies to adapt quickly and, and, and uh, effectively at different levels, first at the business level. And, and because uh, businesses rely on technology, their technology need to evolve and, and adapt uh, quickly. This is what we mean by, by, by agility. So agility that is needed at the business level is, is also required or cascades to the uh, IT level and more specifically in the context of this program, the software, software engineering uh, level. This uh, software engineering agility or what we call agile software en engineering is a, is a discipline in its own right. It has uh, uh, well-specified uh, values, principles, roles, practices, methodologies, frameworks, and uh, tools. Uh, in addition to all these, uh, one of the main ingredients or catalysts of uh, agility uh, is cloud computing. Let me quickly introduce this uh, buzzword. Uh, cloud cloud computing. Cloud computing is first and foremost a business model. It's a, it's a business model where everybody wins. A business model that allows companies which are not necessarily uh, IT uh, specialists, whereby IT is not their core business, it allows them to outsource IT infrastructure and applications, just like outsourcing any other part of the of their business. For example, uh, outsourcing physical security, logistics, communication, accounting, and uh, uh, and and so on. So, um, uh, cloud computing contributes to, uh, to to agility by allowing each party, uh, this kind of companies and IT experts, each one uh, is able to focus on and become more agile in what they do best. Um, and uh, so, so this is this is this is this uh, symbiosis, if, if you will, between or synergy between uh, agility and and cloud uh, computing. The, the market for cloud comp cloud computing, according to Forbes and uh, for Forrester, uh, is just between 2019 and 2020, it has grown by 30%. According to, uh, to to the same organizations, no. From now on, all any serious IT projects will be uh, deployed uh, in in the cloud. So the demand is 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 huge. Last but not least, the uh, w w the present and the future are for mobility, mobile access. We all use. Uh, much more, we use uh, our mobile phones uh, in comparison to uh, uh, laptops or, or uh, work workstations. So this Bachelor of Science in, uh, in uh, software, in cloud and mobile software engineering uh, has been carefully designed around these trends. Um, Agility, so, uh, agile software engineering, cloud computing, and uh, mobility. Uh, if you want to be that agile software engineer who develops, who designs and develops cloud-based mobile-first applications for the 21st century, then this program is for you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Iraqi. Uh, we, we covered big data analytics, we uh, covered cloud and uh, mobile software engineering, but before moving on to uh, computer science, uh, what if we take some questions? Thank you uh, all for uh, uh, asking your questions on the question tab. I just remember because I, I, uh, I saw some, uh, some of you uh, asking questions on the chat section. It's easier for us to separate both and have all your questions on the question tabs. Some of them are going to be answered live, like we're going to do in, in, in a couple of seconds, and some of them are going to be answered 
by typing, but the uh, goal here is to answer all of your questions. Our first question comes from uh, Yusuf uh, Abu Yahya, who is asking for uh, engineering section. Is there any further tests or requirement to apply as a freshman in engineering department? Uh, I believe the question is uh, is for me. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Doctor uh, Tazdin okay. Rashidi. No, no, not really. We, 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 we. In fact, we, we the the files of the application is studied very carefully for the for the bachelor uh, uh, to which the the applicant uh, applies, and the decision is made on on this basis. There are no uh, no particular uh, tests, basically. Okay. Um, are there new majors added in the SSC accredited and uh, su uh, supported as the other majors in terms of professors and classes? And this is another uh, question from Khayur. I'm just trying to find it uh, here. Yes. But it, I think there's already an answer to, to it that was made by Dr. Uh, Cavalli. Are uh, the new majors added in the SSC accredited and supported as the other majors in terms of personal classes? And the, uh, the the answer is already written there. Okay, let's let's move on to uh, computer science and uh, uh, always with Dr. Omar Al Iraqi, who will uh, talk to us a little bit uh, more about uh, about the uh, program of uh, of uh, Bachelor of Science in computer uh, in computer science. Okay, good. Um, Yusuf, you know that in life, when, you, when you're faced with so many very good uh, choices, you can only win, but there's always a cost to pay. Because whatever very good choice you make, you miss all the other good ones, right? It's absolutely true. Yeah. So, so uh, on, on, on one hand, uh, because, our, because AUI, the educational model is based on liberal arts on one hand, and because all our uh, uh, computer computing-based uh, programs share a great common core. So whatever uh, uh, computing-based bachelor program you, you go for, you will have the ability to switch later on throughout your career to, uh, and, and, and chances are, you will be, uh, you will, switch many times to uh, different positions and, and, and probably to different fields. And uh, our uh, uh, bachelor uh, programs prepare you and the liberal arts spirits prepare you for such transitions. Now with this in mind, if you want to minimize the effort required, effort and time required from you to uh, switch, for example, between uh, AI to agile software engineering or to big data analytics, then maybe a good trade-off uh, would be to go for our Bachelor of Science in computer science, because such a, such a program positions itself at the very exact, the very same distance from all the other programs. It, it covers, uh, it, it gives you breadth. Uh, as you can see, can you put this slide please? As you can see in terms of, of courses, uh, you, you will have, uh, for example, a course about AI. So you will be exposed to artificial intelligence. There is a course about agile software, sorry, agile software engineering and, and DevOps. And, and there is also a, a course about cybersecurity, which is uh, mainly in the field of uh, maybe computer uh, system. So it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lovely uh, program. And actually, it's our flagship program, which is accredited, which is ABIT accredited, accredited and as explained by uh, Dean Rashidi, uh, this is the, uh, the only one program in Morocco and uh, maybe there are only some two or three other programs in the whole region, Africa and Middle East and, and Africa, which, which are uh, a bit uh, accredited. So, so it's, it's a program that covers uh, a large uh, spectrum of fields, AI, um, agile software engineering, computer system. It allows you, it keeps your options open. Although I stress on the fact that whatever program you go for, thanks to the liberal arts spirit, thanks to the great common core that all these programs share, then you'll be fine. You'll have this ability to, and you talked about it, this ability to, to, to uh, adapt to changes and to maybe change positions and, and, and uh, fields. 
هذه هاد النقطه هذه مهمه جدا لاننا كنهضروا على بزاف ديال الانواع ديال الباشرز بروجرامز ولكن كيبقى هناك مواد اللي هما اللي تيحضروا الطلبه لهذيك الترانسفورميشن اللي كان كيهضر عليها طالور دكتور تاج الدين الرشيدي ذا بروسيس اوف ترانسفورميشن انتو ان انجينير Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, first of all, engineering is, it could be seen, of course, it's a discipline, but it's, after all, it's, it's a spirit. It's, exactly. Engineering is a spirit. And this is what, what, what students acquire at the level of our uh, School of Science and, and, and Engineering. So they acquire this, uh, this spirit, plus they develop uh, soft skills, thanks to the, the liberal arts, Uh, spirits and they acquire a solid computer science background no matter what 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 the specific program what specific program they 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 go for they 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 have a so yeah please go ahead uh, no just uh, it was a very nice transition to me to talk about the bachelor of science and computer system uh, systems uh, yeah. sorry uh, uh, let me just put the the slide up so uh, uh, we're going to talk about this uh, particular uh, program also which is bachelor in science and computer uh, systems okay so you see whatever uh, field uh, you, we consider uh, whatever computer science uh, application domain be it ai artificial intelligence or Sorry, I think we lost uh, Dr. Al-Iraqi. Uh, I'm going to give, give it a couple of uh, seconds to see if we can re-establish the connection uh, with uh, Dr. Al-Iraqi. For those of you who just uh, joined us, I remind you that today is a, a special webinar uh, for the School of uh, Science and Engineering. We're talking about all the different programs you uh, have to you get to meet um professors who uh, are going to be your future professors inshallah when uh, when you uh, when you get uh, admission into al akhawain university we're talking about different fields different maybe to to give you uh, most information uh, to make the right decision in your choices because some of you might be know already what they want to do in the bachelor program others might uh, still have some hesitation Uh, okay, so it seems. So, so perhaps, perhaps I can start while while. Uh, yes, of course, please. Yes. So this is a this is a, a it's a bachelor. It's called Bachelor of Science in Computer Systems. So this is if you uh, if you want to be a geek, somebody who manages uh, clusters of servers, somebody who runs a data center, somebody who uh, who has a feel for networks. Uh, so this is really the bachelor for you. So yeah. uh, with this bachelor, you will you will learn all the principles behind computing. Uh, you would know how networks work. You would know how threats and attacks on the networks. You would know how to administer and how to build clusters of servers. You know how to horizontally scale for applications, how to vertically scale for uh, for performance, and so on. So uh, it's again uh, it's it's a program that builds. Uh, that gives breath, but all but breath in uh, in the domain of uh, systems, contrary to the other programs, which will give you depth or breath in uh, let's say in programming or in AI. Yeah. This one is more on networks, on uh, on the, the the hardware itself, in fact. And uh, also, when we're talking about uh, uh, the term "geek" that you used, uh, uh, Dr. Tajdin Rashid, that also traveled a long way in the uh, in the perception of society uh, from. The teenager in the in in the room uh, with the computer to this uh, cool figure today. A geek is someone who is uh, a knowledgeable in 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 this field. Then he can do uh, very intelligent stuff. Usually, it's the intelligent person Absolutely. in the group. Absolutely. If you if you if you want to be able to hack a kernel of a, a Linux <laughs> operating system, or you want to be able to do things that normal people don't do with a with a computer, then definitely this is for you. Okay, so um, uh, we we covered this. I'm, I'm going to pick up just one uh, question, uh, Dr. Tazdin uh, Rashidi, uh, related uh, to uh, computer science. If it's I, I, I Kesh, who is uh, asking this question, if I want to study engineering security, uh, so I have to study computer science. Absolutely. Uh, 
the field of cyber security is uh, diverse so you can approach it from uh, the let's say the angle of, uh, of society of uh, of uh, personal uh, data protection and so on but there is also the angle of computing uh, yeah. learning how attacks work and and building software to prevent and, and techniques to prevent against the attacks that's something definitely we you will learn and in fact incidentally you will learn those things in uh, in the bachelor of uh, of, of uh, science in computer systems that's where the focus is so uh, okay so uh, dr just uh, you know you're gonna still stay with us uh, because we covered the first i would say uh, chapter uh we talking we talked about the computer science based computer science based uh, bachelor programs and for those of you who missed Part of this uh, presentation, I uh, just to remind you uh, that this webinar is going to be available in replay on experienceaui.com straight after the end uh, of it. So uh, you may uh, cruise back to if you missed uh, some uh, so, some something. So we're talking about uh, career opportunities in uh, in general, uh, Doctor Tajdin uh, Rashidi. Uh, if we're talking about uh, computer science based bachelor programs what are the, the career opportunities well it's they they are immense in fact and then and, 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 as as dean of uh, of the school of engineering i i track that almost every day so to, to know what's going on in the world so uh, it ranges from uh, from uh, uh, being a consultant and working building your own company in, in all the fields we discussed in artificial intelligence in uh, in systems and security in uh, in uh, in big data analytics and so on so really the spectrum is large in whichever yeah. bachelor you choose you can opt either to work for a corporation or you could opt to build your own uh, 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 enterprise for instance and and and, and uh, or you could opt for instance even to uh, to go further in your studies and go learn, uh, do a PhD, for instance, and be a researcher. And uh, yeah. our experience or our history shows that uh, our students, in fact, successfully want uh, uh, covered all the spectrum. In fact, perfect. Uh, before moving on to uh, the engineering uh, management based bachelor's uh, program uh, and we're going to have the pleasure to have with us uh, dr ilham kisani uh, but before that as uh, we uh, we said we make you uh, win some uh, nice al uh, sweatshirts this is why we ask you to stay focused ركزوا معنا طوال هذا الويبينار السؤال الثاني السؤال الثاني ولا الثالث الثاني how many computing-based bachelor's degrees does uh, the School of Science and Engineering offer? So uh, you can answer on the chat section, and the first first right answer gets the prize. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Daniel Tezzi, congratulations to you for winning this uh, switcher. Don't worry, we have more switchers to uh, to to uh, more switchers prized. It's, I'm uh, it's really, I'm impressed. I really I, <laughs> Well, it, cannot, it, it has a symbolic uh, when you wear an al uh, uh, sweatshirt, and I have a couple of them, uh, way too many, I would say, from the back <laughs> in the days. Whenever I go there, I buy another sweatshirt. I don't know why. I cannot stop myself from that. Anyways, engineering uh, b uh, management-based bachelor program. Uh, our uh, guest, and thank you for being here, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Ilham uh, Kisani, who teaches, uh, she teaches supply chain uh, engineering economics. She's going to open the door to us uh, on this uh, particular uh, uh, program. We're going to talk about decision support system engineering, logistics and manufacturing engineering, and engineering management. And she's uh, coming uh, to join us on stage in a few seconds. Here she is. Hi. Hi, doctor. Hello, Youssef. Thank you so much for coordinating all this. Uh, Thank you for being welcome. here. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure to be here again and warm welcome to all our future engineering students and or uh, for anyone who is interested in the field of engineering. Uh, so as you already mentioned, so the engineering programs are mainly designed uh, in order to equip our students with the best skills and knowledge in their uh, choice in uh, selected field or field of, uh, of choice. So 
Uh, as the previous programs that have been introduced, uh, so the, those programs that I am presenting today uh, are uh, designed and developed in order to equip our any future engineers with necessary skills and knowledge that is uh, required and needed uh, for the uh, field of manufacturing and logistics, decision support systems and management science. Uh, so I am uh, going to uh, look at those programs uh, briefly, not in depth, because they can have more details about these programs in the websites of Al Akhaw University. So uh, uh, mainly they will be helping them to uh, yani build their career uh, or meet their career goals and their occupation of choice. Uh, and then uh, they will be uh, basically close to the needs of the job markets because all these programs have been developed in close uh, consultation uh, with the uh, industry sectors and many other sectors in which uh, we are expecting our graduates to work. So uh, I'm going to start with the first program, that is the decision support systems. Uh, so this special program is, uh, yeah, or you choose the manufacturing as you like. So manufacturing on decision support systems. So let's start then by the manufacturing and logistics engineering. OK, so this special program is normally uh, dedicated uh, and developed for uh, students uh, who are in striving to uh, learn more about uh, production uh, and uh, manufacturing, procurement and distribution. So uh, in case we have uh, any such students, this program is the most adequate, adequate one for them. So if we look at the first aspect of this uh, program, it's about uh, the, uh, yani the what what you call in Arabic tawrid or tazweed bil mawad al and it's mainly about the procurement or sourcing logistics. So when we talk about sourcing logistics, it's uh, touching uh, the choice of suppliers. So we know that before we start in operation of production, we have first of all to make a selection decision of the suppliers. So this decision is touching basically their location, the quantity to be shipped. Uh, it's also touching the. Uh, uh, the where the orders is going to be placed. So many things will be you know, uh, relative to the first uh, you know, uh, step in the planning of your uh, manufacturing operations. So this procurement, besides touching any you know, suppliers, the selection of suppliers, their location, the quantity shipped and so on, it's also touching the aspects of placing orders. So when they're going to place you know, the uh, manage, ma managerial uh, units, when it's going to place some orders uh, pertaining to the uh, quantity of the raw material that is needed, uh, the quantity, as I mentioned, is essential, the quality, uh, the storage of these raw materials, how long they're going to stay in the uh, in the warehouse, because as we most know, uh, the purpose of any business is to minimize the cost and to maximize the profit. So yes. the business is sustainable as long as it's able to guarantee a solution that is minimizing the cost and maximizing the profit. So at the end, we need to, to keep our raw materials in the warehouse. So in such a way that we are not going to exceed the time that is uh, needed or go beyond below below it so we have to look at uh, multiple criteria so what is essential in here why this is normally decision and uh, making that is taken care by uh, of by uh, engineers because normally we apply advanced technical and analytical uh, yani means in order to make uh, complex decisions uh, why we are dealing in uh, any with the multiple criteria aspects uh, to meet multiple objectives uh, also. So this is the first part, procurement, uh, as I will recall in Arabic is Tizweed or Tawrid bil Mawad al So the second part is production or manufacturing. In Arabic is Tasni'a, Tasni'a al Muntajat, Tasni'a al Intaj also, so we can find this word as well. Uh, so under manufacturing and logistics. So this is the second aspect. So when we go inside the manufacturing, we will find production lines, we'll find many products. They are having any uh, transferring between one workstation to the other. So this is what we call basically physical flows. And uh, we have normally the, the brain of the whole chain that is taking care of the information flows. Okay, so like a human body, we have uh, different systems. So we have nervous system, we have circulatory systems. So uh, you need the flow of information. There are people who are taking care of this. So engineers are basically 
making wise decisions yani by developing uh, and using uh, technic uh, technical analytics and also uh, computing techniques in order to make the right decisions and the last aspect but not least is the distribution so when our product is uh, the, is, is is ready to get shipped to the final customers so we have to take care about the distribution and at that level we have to basically know how long we're going to store our products uh, which destination will be uh, yani, uh, chosen in order to uh, ship our products so we decide about the destinations uh, of our of our customers and we uh, look at the packaging that's normally uh, decided also by our customers needs and we uh, finally deliver our products to the final customer with the with the uh, selected or the agreed uh, yani, uh, requirements so this is all about the uh, no, normally the program of manufacturing and logistics so whoever interested to optimize the process of production distribution procurement so this is the program that is normally uh, should fit your needs perfect thank you uh, dr kisani this is the the, the, the first one uh, there are two two more programs uh, uh, when we're talking about engineering management based uh, bachelors the next one is going to be on the uh, let me just put the presentation in front uh, of me. So we're going to talk about <laughs> engineering decision support system, uh, Bachelor of Science in Engineering Decisions Support Systems. Thank you. Uh, so this is the uh, second uh, program that is normally uh, pertaining to management science, operations management. Uh, I will give some uh, also words in Arabic to understand better what is it about. So first of all, this is a special program that is open for any student who strives uh, you need to learn about how to make the best selection decision, uh, the, you know, the best selection decision among a set of proposals or among a set of uh, uh, you know, options. So it could be uh, relative to the design of process, to the design of products, the uh, investment projects, uh, typically investment projects, uh, or even the selection of suppliers. So it's a decision, any you know, selection decision to be made. But you will tell me why uh, engineers would uh, make decisions, uh, the only ones who are going to make decisions. So everybody can make decisions, it's only engineers. So what is special with uh, you know, having this program and the engineering school is that engineers usually are you know, invited to apply advanced technical uh, or analytical techniques, uh, uh, computing techniques, mathematical modeling in order to make decisions in a complex environment. Uh, so we can make any such decisions uh, under any sector or any field or any discipline so ranging from healthcare to education to industry to any field we can apply decision making uh, support systems uh, so what i want to bring the attention of the uh, audience uh, to is this uh, kind of program it's normally uh, not typically applicable to manufacturing as the previous one or to industry only as i mentioned it's open and it's broad it's larger than the previous one that i already described it could be applicable to any sector so this is the main thing that you you we can retain in our minds just so uh, quick uh, words that would be helping you to understand in arabic so uh, we can maybe call it nidam dan qararat so yani huwa nidam yani yatimd ala hashd ma'lumat yani qa'im ala binyat min al computer يدعم أنشطة صنع القرار يعني إما في الميدان التجاري أو في الميدان التنظيمي مما يؤدي عادة إلى الترتيب والفرز والاختيار بين عدة يعني بدائل اللي كنقولو هما الـ options يعني we choose among multiple options وهذا مهم بزاف لان باش كنهضروا على اتخاذ القرارات خاص القرارات تكون صعيبه خصوصا باش كنتهضروا خصوصا في الميدان التجاري ولا in the business world we're talking about millions and millions of dollars that are involved we're talking about uh, scarce resources we're talking about human resources that are involved too so it's really important thank you for this uh, ad see yusuf so just the steps that should be followed, and it means that the following master process is essential in the decision-making support systems. So we start first of all by the description of the problem about which we want to make a decision. Afterwards, we have to gather essential informations, uh, information, sorry, about uh, uh, in the background of the projects we are making decision about. Then we ident identify the options or what we call alternatives, and after gathering this in quantitative information, uh, so in order to have uh, you need to make the best option afterwards and we evaluate the information with respect 
to the alignment to uh, yeah, need one or more of your decision options. And then it comes the step to make your wise and informed decision that should be implemented and reviewed if necessary. So after the implementation of the decision, so we can refine, we can review, we can revisit the decision as uh, you, uh, you, you, you are you know, going forward, as you are moving forward. So this is mainly and it's important thing that we are, you know, uh, we can learn from decision support systems. Uh, as I mentioned, so it needs uh, you know, uh, people to be equipped, seem to be equipped yeah. with uh, you know, advanced analytical techniques and computing techniques to make the best decisions possible that would profit the company or the organization. نمروا دكتور كيساني الشطر الاخر اللي هو الباشلر اوف ساينس ان انجينيرينج مانجمنت ثانك يو سي يوسف يا سو ذا لاست بروجرام اند ذات از يعني كوايت كلوز تو ذا فيرست وان بس اتس مور جينيريك ذان ذا مانيفاكتوري اند لوجيستيك انجينيرينج Uh, so the, the, you know, the discipline of management science could be only applicable to the field of operations in the production operations in service as well. Mm. So when we are saying service, as I mentioned, education, healthcare are typical sectors, uh, service sectors. Uh, so when we are you know, uh, optimizing the operations under one of these sectors, so we are talking about management science techniques. So the operations uh, management, or what you call, in other words, management science. So this is basically dealing with uh, addressing central issues necessary to uh, yeah, understand or, or basically solve production and service operations in today's global economy. And this program basically it provides rigorous foundation for immediate careers in consulting and also analytic strategy support for companies. So this is normally something that uh, all companies are applying. So there is no any uh, exception. So those uh, techniques are applicable to any sector, ranging under the uh, production or service uh, any, uh, operations. So the uh, the courses that will be any uh, taught under this program, they will allow students to build a fundamental understanding of the trade-offs that might any, uh, exist to consider Uh, when managing the development of products and services, as well as operations uh, used in order to produce them and fulfill customer requirements. So then the need for effectively manage the production of goods and services is essential uh, in our global economy. So students will basically uh, learn about uh, you know, the developments of a number of useful uh, mathematical tools. Okay, so they can yeah. develop mathematical tools as they can uh, learn from existing ones in order to solve multiple uh, yani, or address multiple issues and their production and service operations. So besides their direct application to any yani, uh, operation uh, problem, so the management science techniques uh, yani, have been broadly applied to a wide variety of other economic activities uh, like ranging from finance, Okay, pricing in uh, pricing of uh, of finance instruments. Uh, yani this is also another field that is ranging under service. Okay, service operations. This is financial also sector, besides education, healthcare, and others. Uh, yani ranging from the pricing of financial instruments to decision concerning like the markdown policies in retailing and so on. Uh, you have touched, uh, Doctor when when you. Uh, When you talk about the different programs, you touch a little bit of the fields where uh, we can uh, guess the career opportunities are uh, for, for prospect students. So we, you already touched a little bit, like we were talking about manufacturing, we we're talking about uh, the, um, delivery, uh, that, uh, excuse my words, because uh, <laughs> sometimes if I misspell something, you can, uh, you, can, you can stop me right there. But you already scratched the surface on what are the career opportunities relative to these uh, different uh, bachelor, uh, bachelor uh, of science in, 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 in we're talking about engineering management based bachelor's uh, program uh, let's pick up a few questions if you don't uh, mind uh, dr kisani yes there are questions about uh, the uh, the bsair bachelor uh, talking, asking if, if the bachelor is accredited accredited sorry Yes, so yes, the Bachelor of Management Science, Engineering and Management Science is accredited by EBITS. 
Okay, so the same organism that is accrediting the uh, computer science programs, part of the computer science program mentioned earlier. Uh, and uh, so we are, uh, have been uh, subjected to examining all the courses, uh, uh, all the qualifications uh, faculty mm. members have before delivering such accreditation. Uh, mm. So we all know that this such accreditation cannot be uh, delivered until a deep and um, uh, yani large uh, investigation of uh, uh, how yani the uh, courses are delivered, the laboratory that are supporting this program, the faculty members who are teaching their qualifications and experience in the field before delivering such accreditation. So, alhamdulillah, we are accredited. It means that we are really having good, solid uh, program that would really equip our students with necessary skills and knowledge that we'll need for facing the challenges of their uh, the job markets. باش ربما التفسير وتبسيط ايضا من طريقه واحده اخرى باش كنهضروا على الاكريديتيشن اتس نوت ا وان شوت ثينك ماشي يو جيت الاكريديتيشن وصافي الصلاه على النبي كي تشوف نو كيكون واحد المراقبه كتكون واحد المراقبه بان هذا البروغرام ريلي زعما ديزيرفز ذات اكريديتيشن دكتور رشيدي ابسولوتلي سو اتس يو يو اتس 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 اوبسلي اكريديتيشن لايك Uh, I'm sure many people are familiar with the, uh, the terminology certification. It's the same process. You need to prove every, depends, sometimes two years, sometimes three years, that you are up to date, that your faculty are current, that you are closing the loop, that you are responding to the changes that happen around you, and that you're adhering to strict academic standards. So, uh, no. اوكي 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 نبي شغ فاش كنهضر على الاكريديتيشن وكاين عاوتاني الخريجي جامعه الاخوان في ديفيرون ديفيرون باش فاش كنشوفوا المراكز اللي كيحتلوها الان يعني هما برهان على ان البروغرام كما قلنا از اب تو ديت ات جيفز ذا ابيليتي كما قال قبيل الدكتور العراقي ذا ستيت اوف مايند اوف ان انجينير هاو تو كوب ويت تشينج ليت سبيك اب اون ان سكند كويستشن وات ار ذا ماينرز اكسسبل فور ذا بي اس اي اي I think I think I, I responded to this question uh, on the question tab. Uh, okay. So, so basically, the uh, for many of the computing bachelors, all of them, mm -hmm. the Master of Science in Computer Science in Artificial Intelligence in uh, CPS, Cyber Physical Systems, Computer Systems, Big Data Analytics, all of them, uh, when you enroll in one of these, you have the possibility to do a minor. It could be in business administration, which many of our students do. They can also be in uh, communication studies or in human resource development. So, uh, and again, this is one of the, you, you will find this nowhere uh, in Morocco. Yeah. Anyway. So it's the ability to have a major, but also to be very good. And when we say a minor, it's a solid minor in, in something else that will uh, help you, in fact, almost have a dual careers, if I can say. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Dr. Kisani, for uh, all this uh, uh, to, 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 the, uh, to the engineering management based bachelor programs. Uh, I can see a lot of people in the chat. It's pretty hilarious because there's a, lot, a high level of competitiveness uh, toward the al <laughs> Um Yes, I'm, gonna, I'm about to ask a question, and the first one to answer is going to get the... Uh, gonna get the Third uh, sweatshirt, and the question is simple. Uh, how many engineering and management-based special degrees does SSC offer? Some people already answered before I asked the questions. <laughs> I uh, asked the question. But I think we could give them, give them extra points for creativity. This is what we're looking for, creativity and ingenuity, <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, let's move on uh, now to... Another part, I think we certainly have a winner. <laughs> okay, Usama Abel Grim, he was he is the winner. Uh, thank you all. Stay tuned. We still have other just to uh, to make you uh, win. But uh, for that, we're gonna move on now to another uh, part of the uh, bachelor's programs, and we're gonna talk about general engineering based. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, in uh, this part, I'm gonna uh, call uh, Doctor Yassine Saleh Luj, who uh, teaches uh, Introduction to Engineering and Design 
instrumentation and mechatronics uh, and he is going to talk about the different uh, bachelor uh, programs in general engineering based bachelor uh, program he's going to join us on stage right now in a little in a little while for those of you who just join us uh, joined us welcome everyone just a quick reminder you can uh, rewatch this webinar uh, if you missed some some of it's a part of it you can rewatch it straight after it finishes it's going to be available on replay on experienceaui.com along the other uh, videos that can answer all your uh, your question because we had webinars about the admission process we had uh, webinars about documents about the test you're going to take before getting into al uh, uh, especially in this times of covid-19 so make sure you go and browse the library of different uh, web webinars and videos available to you on experienceay.com uh, Dr. Yassid Sarih uh, hi and welcome. Hi, hi Yusuf, thank you very much. And thanks for everybody thank you, who uh, wanted to start before me to keep me to the end. Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, for uh, being here with us. We're going to talk uh, about the general engineering based bachelor's program. Uh, and perhaps uh, we're going to start with the uh, Bachelor of Science in Renewable Energy System uh, uh, Engineering. Is that right? Yeah, definitely. Perfect. So. Uh, uh, slide please so um, yes so we're gonna have the slide right now as you kept me to the end because i have been absorbing all of your energy that has been dissipated throughout these presentations to better present you this first uh, engineering based uh, energy program okay so as you know energy is preserved what you deliver it is to be absorbed if unless there is waste so that's the key in this program. We are trying to use technology to minimize waste and to ensure the efficiency, okay? So I will start with that with an information uh, for uh, my fellow colleagues and students. Do we know that two billions of the sun's energy uh, strikes the, the earth? Two out of 10 to the nine. Huh? Mm -hmm. the, the overall energy of the sun that comes to the earth is just uh, not 2%. It's two out of 10 to the nine. Uh, and that energy, as small as it is, that strikes the earth. If it is, as I said earlier, efficiently captured and uh, absorbed just during a small period as of 40 minutes, it is equivalent to all the necessary energy for human society that it consumes in a complete year. Subhanallah, yes. Uh, of course, not this year of 2020 when we had Corona, most, most uh, plants were, 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 were closed and uh, the transportation, since I filled my, my, my car with uh, uh, fuel uh, at the beginning of March, I did not refill it again because I live in Iran. Yeah. So there is uh, less uh, waste and less use of energy. Yes. But this, however, gives you an idea about the potential of solar just solar, what about wind and other form of renewable energy? It is a huge potential that it is uh, being offered in these renewable energies if such form of energy, as I mentioned, is efficiently used. Everyone knows that our country, Alhamdulillah, Morocco, has made significant uh, steps towards supporting renewable energies for their rising sector. This emerging segment is set to cover, inshallah, by next uh, decade, 2030, a minimum of 50% of the national needs in, in energy. So uh, naturally, this fast growing strategic sector requires skilled engineers to be trained to drive this growth across its different aspects, technical, managerial, economic, and environmental. Our graduates are indeed, Yusuf, as you know, are already contributing to this. How indeed our school is launching this new engineering based Bachelor in Energy based on its uh, uh, master's program that is uh, being has been offered uh, in about uh, eight years uh, in sustainable energy management. So in terms of uh, program content that we we'll see here with me on the slide, uh, slide up as yes, sustainable and renewable energy is about finding clean energy sources that can be reused and renewed. Uh, that's why we call them green, because uh, they are clean. 
through modern technologies. We use modern technology to uh, use these uh, clean energies, such as uh, solar panels, uh, the wind turbines, and also water turbines, geothermal energy, biomass, uh, which is uh, using a, a chemical conversion to, uh, to have ethanol, uh, ocean energy, and so on. So our students are to learn in this program how to make use of these alternative energy sources. Of course, after, as you see here on the, these, this list of courses, topical courses, understanding the conventional energy resources that you see here at the, at the top. The students will explore the new energy technologies, the renewable ones, and will explore energy efficient production capabilities using smart uh, uh, grid and grid connected systems. So these are smart because they consider the uh, all existing well-known communication protocols, data processing, control techniques to be adapted and embedded on the existing energy distribution systems, which are also to be covered in a topical course. This is what is allowing the grid or the infrastructure to be smart, because while not using electricity, a household is having solar panels on his roof, uh, not using electricity while sleeping at night, the electricity can go the other, the other direction, can be sold. So you can buy yeah. what you need, you can sell what you are not using. So this is also part of the efficiency. The students will be able to use this knowledge in this program with the energy storage possibilities. Like for instance, you don't sell, you can store fill tanks of hydrogen okay uh, and techniques to improve all of that as i mentioned the keyword earlier the energy efficiency from management economic and financial aspects these are also topical course being listed on that slide uh, all of this in a sharp very sharp energy audit so i'm sure a couple of you have already heard about uh, in morocco we call it in french uh, l'audit energetic so many uh, startups ha have been launched uh, recently and they are offering services. I know uh, personally people uh, who just finished their, 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 their bachelor, uh, they were about 24 years old, 23, and they are now uh, running a team of uh, above uh, 20 engineers, uh, paying them uh, maybe uh, as, as my salary is. Uh, and they are really very successful because Morocco, this is a trend and some are really going towards this trend and starting going uh, offering this service for whether plants uh, or for building with the residential or industrial which will reduce the negative impact on our natural environments this is also a topic of course that we have uh, in this program indeed all of our engineering students not only in this program but all of those you have heard uh, being presented before and the one i'm be, uh, be presenting at the end uh, are to consider in their design uh, projects and not only the technical implication but all of the other implications because as a, a technologist you care about technology technical implications but as engineer you have to see it from a to z huh? uh, we abbreviate this in our school and their steeple steeple stands for uh, so I want to ask a question, like I can give a, a gift uh, after if I could for if answering this question it stands for societal so the implication on society, uh, technical, this is just one dimension among others, environmental, ethical for the second E, P for political, L for legal, legal, what are the regulations? You should know the regulations, you don't design just for design, but you should know what are the, the laws, what are the standards, and finally we keep the best to the end, money, uh, economic implication. So uh, from a global perspective, we all know that our planet and its resources are in severe danger. Uh, global warming, uh, climate change, uh, uh, air pollution are all, are all the effects of fossil fuel consumption. Our graduates, engineers, uh, inshallah, in this program will tackle this 21st century engineering challenge and will contribute to certainly reduce its negative effects through considering these new solutions for sustainable energy. So I guess, Yusuf, as you uh, trained me through the other presentations with colleagues, you are to ask me about the uh, career opportunities. Yeah, obviously, uh, I'd like to, to, to say that uh, we already have uh, some amazing success stories uh, 
of uh, al akhawain uh, uh, graduates who have been very successful uh, also in uh, in this field of uh, renewable uh, energy as you said because it's the question of the future it's uh, how we manage uh, all of uh, our uh, uh, our energy and how to be uh, more efficient yeah it, let's uh, yeah it's the short future it's already the, it's already the current it's the present it's, it's the present, yeah. it's the present. <laughs> And yeah. part of the past, also yeah, because exactly. we should have taken actions maybe even uh, before. Uh, let's move on to the next program, uh, uh, Doctor. Uh, if we talk about the uh, Bachelor of Science in General uh, Engineering. So, as we say, Youssef, we keep the best to the end. This uh, GE program, it is the best why for me, uh, for AUI, I believe, because this was our first and pioneer bachelor degree that was offered uh, when the Hawaiian uh, School of Science and Engineering was opened, and it is among the three, only three ABET accredited. The former one I have just mentioned, presented, it is new to be launched by the next fall, but it is on its way to be accredited. But this one is uh, a, a, a bachelor which is really having a, a large a, a, a spectrum. It is good and definitely be a good choice for those who are with us since the beginning and are not absolutely interested by any of these presented bachelor programs or just still not sure what the engineering field they are for. Yes, they are sure for being an engineer, but they still are looking for what interest they have because up in the interest you have, you will have the intrinsic motivation and you will do more and and you will uh, be more successful so we offered that bachelor to allow the student to tailor uh, to, 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 to customize his his uh, his uh, bachelor according to his uh, interest it offers indeed a large spectrum of various engineering strong bases that allow the student acquiring versatile competencies with interdisciplinary knowledge across many uh, uh, engineering fields. These span on a wide variety of engineering courses and topics, uh, namely, as you see them listed on the, the, that slide, uh, the first one is engineering and design principle. I teach myself this course to uh, freshmen and now so for more students after having them taken math and the fundamental science courses, where the student is exposed to the engineering profession. Huh? I said mm -hmm. earlier, my colleague, uh, Dr. Araki, uh, l'état d'esprit, l'ingénierie, what is the difference between an engineer and a scientist? A scientist is about uh, discovering, investigating, but the engineer has a step further, takes this and implement that to bring a solution. So through design. So this is the key task that the in, that distinguishes the engineer from a scientist. And we consider in the design, the creativity as necessary for the innovation that is being considered in an important step part of the five steps of the design process. This is indeed importantly emphasized for facing the 21st century engineering challenges. As says Einstein, uh, knowledge is finance, whereas imagination is in finance. So there is also some arts you are encouraged to ideate and create ideas. And maybe uh, this uh, versal, versatility, uh, the big picture who gives more room for creativity. Exactly, exactly. You have because you, you you see everything and you can transpose the information you learned may, maybe in uh, electrical engineering and use it in me me mechanical engineering or a subfield of uh, electrical engineering and transpose it and use it in image processing or from image processing use it in wireless communication and that's what makes people smart. Okay, because you have more links between your neurons. We do all have almost the same number of neurons, but the more you create links, because you have a lot of things to connect them together. So that the versatility. And uh, there is a doctor. If you if you allow me, there is a, a saying that says, "When you are a, a hammer, you see all problems as nails, because <laughs> you are a hammer." Well, <laughs> when you have the, this versatility, when you, you see the big uh, picture, you tend to see, okay, there's a screwdriver, there's other other tools I can use to solve my problems. Exactly, Sir So uh, you are with me. Uh, Tuned. The second one is computer-aided engineer as a topical course where our students 
uh, the student will learn how to manipulate and uh, uh, the main technical tools. These are, these are mainly basic technical tools uh, spanning from computing through electrical to mechanical engineering fields. Programming and data processing, as you see listed uh, here at the third bullet, of course, as necessary for the 21st century engineers who should be aware and handy with software skills and tools. Not only engineers, even business students, they are to learn. As you know, you were a business student, now they learn the uh, R language and so on, even Python. So I'm sure a couple of students are attending with us and they already uh, started exploring some programming languages. This is really necessary and important. In electric circuit and digital design for the essential uh, electrical engineering bases related to analog and digital hardware analysis and design, uh, mechatronics and instrumentation as a, a, a learning uh, in a topical course, which puts together, this is this comes at the senior level where students have had already this, as you said, big picture, and where they will be synthesizing all what they have, they have learned uh, uh, from electrical, mechanical, and computing, and with their subfields in an effective project-based learning approach, learning by doing. Uh, uh, Thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, materials mechanics, uh, where the student explores a bunch of various mechanical engineering topics from learning the necessary techniques related to that field with analysis implications and acquiring the corresponding technical skills. Uh, engineering economics, where the engineering student learns also how to wear the important business financial hats for the essential cash flow uh, analysis to be considered in any engineering design project so that our students will be able to have not part of the solution but a turnkey solution play on that from a to z and ideally the student if he has all of this nobody will make money out of his part of the solution because he will be marketing his solution he will he can launch his startup. So with this strong and diversified engineering core, each student starts at the junior level, as I mentioned earlier, at the third year, built in by him or herself, his focused thematic area. As I mentioned, kind of customized concentration related to any engineering field representing the student's interest, allowing the student to further shape and customize uh, his degree to be well prepared to a specific narrow field in the job market or for his intended pursuit of graduate studies with a very solid, broad engineering background. Finally, it is worth mentioning that our GE student is an engineering uh, generalist who's able to seek and apply knowledge from a broad range of disciplines. This offer great benefit for individual, as mentioned, Sir Youssef, uh, yeah. virtuality, polyvalence, and also long life learning capacity during his engineering career. And this later one is really very important because I believe we are the only school in Morocco uh, who's uh, allowing our students to learn by themselves. Okay, we train them because you know what is engineering about using technology? What is technology? Do you still use to have the phone that you had five years ago? Maybe not. It gets the one that did for the year before. <laughs> it changes quickly. <laughs> it changes uh, quickly. Exactly. So if also you learn something and you get what you had and you don't learn how to keep current, you will be obsolete as an engineer, as your phone has become obsolete. So the student... I'm going to give you a example for another one. Thank you. 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 Exactement. Apprends-lui à pêcher au lieu de donner tous les jours un poisson. Thank you. Thank Regarding the career opportunities for this GE, as you could guess, I won't mention jobs because they are broadly countless, but as is the field, a large yeah. spectrum in engineering. But you have names, as you mentioned earlier, physical people. Kautal Marawi, mm -hmm. one of them, she was a GE alumni, alumna, who brilliantly made it to various engineering disciplines. Mm. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, yeah. We we talked. Uh, you talked about. Uh, 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 sorry, what's the name uh, of the alumna again? Uh, Kautar Al Marawi. Okay. She was. We, we have. 
she, she was a GE student, I can recall Bowery. also Usama uh, Sfrewi, uh, Anas uh, Bari, uh, Nadia Chazi, uh, who are all good examples of, uh, of uh, alumnus uh, uh, from Al Hawain who made it into uh, really rich and interesting careers in, uh, uh, in engineering. Okay. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Lelis. We're going to move on to the next uh, point on the engineering uh, school uh, because we're going to talk about the master programs. I've seen there's a lot of questions that have been asked around the master's uh, program. But before diving into that, it's time. It's the quiz time. It's the question time to see if you all have been paying attention. And uh, the, the question is really simple. Name one of the SSE's successful alumni. That was the last point we talked about. So we try to keep it really close to the question. Uh, name one of the SSE successful alumni. You can uh, answer via the, uh, the chat tab. First uh, right answer gets the sweatshirt. And uh, as I said, we're going to dive now to the master's uh, program. And uh, I would like to thank again, because not because he's with me since the beginning of the webinar, thank him for his, his passions, uh, pa patients and have been uh, available. Dr. Tessjin Rashidi was the dean of the school. Uh, thank you for being with us and uh, enlightening mm -hmm. us all, 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 all uh, along the webinar. Uh, OK, so let's move on now to uh, the master's uh, program. And uh, I would like uh, to start uh, with you, uh, Dr. Tessjin uh, Rashidi, because we're going to talk uh, about the uh, Master Engineering in Financial Technologies. Uh, uh, absolutely. So, um, so before... Uh, before that, yeah, sorry. Yes, sorry. I'd like just to, uh, to say, uh, I mean, for, for our audience, that uh, we'll be presenting four or five uh, uh, master degrees. Uh, again, because uh, I would like to pick it up where you finish, just as we have some success stories in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in uh, our bachelor programs, but we do also have very, very important uh, success stories in uh, our uh, master programs. Mm. Uh, the key element for us here is that we're designing and we're doing and we're offering masters that respond to the very specific and very sharp skills that are required, again, by the national market, but also by the global, uh, the global market. So uh, uh, we're very much in tune. We do listen to industry. We do collect feedback. And then we build a master program. So this is one thing. The second thing is the quality of our faculty. I, 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 uh, this is something that was not stressed enough. Uh, uh, at the science and engineering, 90. I think we have only one person who is not a permanent faculty. This is to say that our faculty are here all the time to accompany the students, to help them through the, the projects, to help them through their learning, uh, their learning path. OK, so with this, uh, I'd like to present to you the, the first. Yes, uh, we're going to have the presentation uh, brought up uh, right now. OK, uh, so the, 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 the Master of Engineering in Financial Technology so this is, uh, again, a very hot uh, topic, financial technology, or as uh, many would, would have heard, FinTech. So this is a master's that gives the student uh, the building blocks for going and innovating in a financial market. So uh, uh, students will learn about blockchain technology. I'm, I'm sure, uh, Yusuf, you heard about uh, blockchain. Yes. Uh, yes, absolutely. So and I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not an engineer and I heard about it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's considered a, a disruptive technology in the field of, uh, of at least in the field of, uh, of, of, of financial uh, finances, but it's it also a disruptive uh, technology in many other areas. So uh, students will learn the concepts, the basics and, and the tools and how to build solutions on the base on, on uh, using blockchain technology. And uh, something perhaps key here again to mention is that many of our faculty are certified experts in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in blockchain in also in cryptography. The blockchain also uses some principles of cryptography. So, but with this masters, you see, we, we, we're, we're, the students will learn both about the techniques and the technology, the IT components, but also about the, the finance part. Uh, for them to be able to deliver and to be able to build solu financial solutions using the using the, the technology. 
see if we if we train our students only on the technology then uh, they would be short of ideas uh, on how to use the technology in the financial market so we we use we marry both in fact and this is uh, 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 using the feedback that we receive from our partners and uh, on the market here in Morocco market but also outside so so that's a very exciting uh, masters it spans one year uh, one key driver in there is that uh, uh, contrary to many masters where the students have to do a, a final project towards the end mm -hmm. uh, the students will start with the project right from the beginning and the, pro the students will build their project with the idea that by the end they 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 they, they finish the master they have something that is already almost marketable they have a, yeah. a product of their own that they can use it to build a startup or uh, 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 or even uh, sell expertise or so on so so and we're we're uh, we're working with our banking partners so that at least the students would spend some time uh, 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 in vivo with 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 the in the banking sector trying to build fintech solutions exactly so th this is uh, really important because when we talk about uh, uh, the fact that you start with the project from uh, the beginning and then you could uh, uh, with your with the knowledge you acquire build up and shape it uh, that's that's a unique uh, opportunity uh, now we're going to talk about uh, so sorry doctor Go ahead. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you can see the uh, on your slide. Our audience can see all the uh, the career the uh, the career opportunities that this master will offer. And something very important to say. Uh, I I I think that I mentioned earlier the return on investment and the value on investment. So we believe that this master will have a huge, a huge return yeah. on investment. So uh, yeah. uh, expert fintech people. Uh, you, they are extremely rare uh, birds, as, 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 as I would say. So, and they would be hired by anybody, any big corporation uh, uh, who wants to drive, who wants to, in fact, wants to digitally move into the new world of finance. Yes, those are exciting uh, career uh, opportunities uh, for uh, this master of engineering and financial uh, technologies. And we're going to talk about uh, postpone uh, talking about MS in digital transform digital transformation and here uh, he is uh, Dr. Nasr uh, Asimli, he teaches data mining data engineering and visualization and he is going to talk to us about the uh, master of science in big data analytics how are um, you doctor uh, good thank you very much Yusuf. how are you fine alhamdulillah <laughs> thank you for this opportunity that you gave us to talk about this really interesting programs that we have at AUI some of them are new really but and um, so i'm going to talk about one of those new programs master program which is a master of science in big data analytics and in fact even though this program is new but really uh, some key courses that make up this program we have been teaching some of these courses for quite some time now so we just put this program together because of the needs of the market for such uh, degrees. And um, so what is this big data uh, analytics program about? Well, we have two parts really in, in this program. And the first part is the big data, big data. And what is it? So big data is really uh, that data, but it's fundamentally different from traditional data. So, and I'm going to mention just a few characteristics that make it different and in fact very challenging the first one is the size the volume of this data and we are talking about terabyte uh, petabyte and even more as my colleague omar and if some of you were uh, attended his uh, his talk earlier he talks about quintillion uh, data yes. uh, sizes etc so if, if i recall correctly it's 30 zeros Right, right. All, all of us are going to learn something today, and I'm sure right. I'm and excited about this. And I'm going to tell you something uh, even uh, more interesting. Is you see, if you consider... Question? Yes. Uh, and in fact, even if we consider only a fraction of that quintillion, which is that terabyte, which now really dozens of these terabytes can fit on your laptop, this especially solid state disk now, and if you want to transfer just this dozen of terabytes over the fastest, one of the fastest network that is, let's say, 100 megabits uh, network, which is considered really fast, you know, it will take uh, what? It will take dozens of hours to transfer this data. 
So uh, really, uh, it's really challenging to deal with this kind of data. And uh, so the other characteristics are uh, the, the the type of this data so it's not all structured like traditional databases so mm. most of it in fact a very good part of it 80 percent or more some based on some uh, studies etc they say that most of data that we deal with it now right is unstructured so uh, and and the third aspect is this uh, dynamic aspect where the data is really moving very fast and generated very uh, with high velocity and uh, one has to uh, in many cases, has to process and analyze this data on the fly. So it's quite challenging. And, and this is this uh, the, the big data. Now, the second part is really the analytics part. Now, uh, data itself may not have a lot of value, really. You can have a bunch of data sitting on your disks or on your servers, and you don't do much with it. So what is challenging is really to get value and insights out of this data. And traditional programming uh, is not really appropriate for this kind of thing. And that's why there is machine learning, there is data mining, all right, that use these advanced techniques for classification, for clustering, uh, neural nets. And you might uh, probably you have heard about deep learning, which is really now uh, a very interesting field in computer science. So you need this advanced algorithm really to be able to analyze and get value out of this data. And lots of companies really now, the private sector, uh, ranging from uh, telecom companies, uh, the banking sector, insurance, even in agriculture, where this data is really being generated uh, from IoT devices and sensors that are everywhere. And in fact, uh, this IoT, we have it, probably you have it on your gadgets, uh, see yourself and at home, yeah. right? Lots of data is being generated and all corners of our cities very soon will be generating data uh, in real time, all right? And this data needs to be uh, uh, processed. So, so uh, and, and also in the public sector, so government really needs uh, specialists in this domain yeah. now to be able to make informed decision by analyzing and uh, uh, all this data. So uh, really the applications are all over the, the, the I mean, the, the, the job market for, for graduates of this program. Now, uh, I think I'm gonna talk uh, probably uh, about what it takes to, uh, and, and uh, if you can show the slides so that uh, people can uh, follow with me on some of the courses that we offer in this program. And you can see over there, the, the, the first one is really the first course that I wouldn't say it's uh, an introductory course to big data, but really students will be uh, exposed to all these technologies ranging from Hadoop and the Hadoop distributed file system, et cetera, and the, the MapReduce programming, uh, parallel programming paradigm, et cetera, and all the new technology that are now built on top of this uh, that abstract lots of details of Hadoop, such as Spark, Storm, uh, Kafka, etc. And uh, again, we have this course on descriptive statistics where uh, some exploratory analysis uh, can be done uh, on the data. And then, as I mentioned, data mining and machine learning. And now, data mining and machine learning is really, I wouldn't say it's, it's a new uh, field. It has been there, but really what's challenging is to adapt it to this big data. So it, it, algorithms need to scale to these massive data sets. And in, in many cases, they have to um, process this data in real time. So these are some of the challenges. Uh, so students will be exposed to some of those challenges and, and, and methods and algorithms in that course. And, and the other course is the data engineering and visualization. So uh, we are, uh, I mean, our graduates will be able to um, design and implement a, a whole solution really uh, that allows this, uh, with this data pipeline, where the data on one side is interfaced with these IoT devices, et cetera, and on the other side, it is interfaced with the, with the cloud. I mean, now, really, all companies to be able to be competitive, right? Not only nationally, uh, at, the, at the national level, but really at the international level, right? They need to be able to deploy these solutions on the cloud because on the premises, it may not be feasible to analyze all this data and store all this data. So really that, there in that course, students will be exposed to these techniques and, and how to, they can orchestrate this solution and these clusters 
yeah. that process all these data on the cloud and, and the, the 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 last but not least and and that is really an application oriented course which is the web and text mining and students will learn about the structure of this web data that is usually um, web oriented and no sql frankly uh, which is different from the relation the traditional relational database structures and and text mining and uh, dr uh, cavalli uh, touched up a little bit on text mining before uh, and there is a lot of natural language processing and natural language understanding uh, algorithms that students will learn uh, there in that course now, and, uh, needless to say, maybe, uh, Doctor, uh, that uh, the opportunities uh, when we talk about big data analytics uh, are uh, huge and immense, and the need is uh, is is huge also for 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 this uh, this kind of uh, master of, of science. Indeed, indeed, it is right, and 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 you can see there some of the. I mean, I would say just the official uh, job qualifications that really companies now are looking for, I mean, to be able to gain the edge and this, uh, they need this uh, engineer, the computer scientists that are really qualified in this, uh, in this area. So uh, we talk about data engineers, data architects, uh, data analysts, right? Uh, and in fact, uh, we plug in there the big data because it has to be in the context of this massive uh, data set. Um, yeah. yeah. So, Thank you very much. Anyways, uh, but, but see, if yeah. you don't mind, I was really, I was really pleased to see a question from the audience and uh, and Khaula, and I really thank her uh, a lot yeah. about this. But she asked about fuzzy logic, and she said whether fuzzy logic uh, is something that she is going to learn at AUI. And in fact, a lot of uh, machine learning algorithms and clustering techniques that we use in data mining use some fuzzy logic um uh, concepts all right so uh, i answered her in detail on the chat but yeah it's nice to see some who are really interested in these programs they make informed decision on going in through that path and they already like go on research and and uh, some of them have already like experienced a little bit of these tools and techniques and, and languages and compilers and well i'm right. just gonna throw some some words right. because I'm not from that no. field. Really. You, you, you are well informed, see Yusuf. <laughs> if, I add just, if I may add just one point, if you don't mind. I mean, yeah. we have some uh, faculty members who have been lately certified in some of these emerging technologies by companies. I don't know if I can mention the name or probably it's not necessary here, but they, they, they have been certified as experts in this area and not only experts, but they can train students to be themselves certified in this area. So students who can, who will join this program, they will have chance to be also certified in some professional certifications, in addition to the master uh, in, uh, in, I mean, uh, the master of science that we have in this. Mm -hmm. And this is true for other programs, by the way. Shukran, uh, Dr. Uh, we, uh, we're almost done here, <laughs> but uh, we still, we have promised uh, to make people win uh, an extra a sweatshirt that I hope you are ready and in front of your uh, keyboard. Yes, Dr. Sure. Yes, we do. We do. Uh, I'd like just to uh, we, we talk a little bit about the what we call the combined bachelor uh, uh, master. So that's something that our audience may want to know about. You want to do it yeah. after the... the, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll ask the question and then we go okay. back uh, go to that. The question is uh, concerning the master's degree and the, the question is simple. How many master's degrees program does uh, the School of Science and Engineering offer? Right, we already have a couple of answers. Some of them are right, some of them are wrong. But you said, as soon as you ask the question, I hear the beep, 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 beep. The, the, exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the maybe this is something they will learn also in the engineering classes when we talk about upload speed and download speed, and lag, and everything. So some of them are not happy because they have the right answer, but they didn't, uh, couldn't uh, answer it uh, on time. Absolutely. Okay, so congratulations, Nada, on your uh, sweatshirt. Now, uh, coming back exactly about uh, the point you wanted to address, uh, Dean uh, Tejdin Rashidi, is about the relationship. Yeah, I mean, yes, the absolutely. Yeah. Yes, I would, I'd just like to talk a little bit about the bridge between the bachelor programs and the master programs, and then perhaps talk about uh, some of the, again, the, the key differentiating factors that did not show up through the, 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 the various presentations, if, if you don't mind. So, uh, 
for the students who enroll in the bachelor degree, in, in, in almost all of them, there is the possibility to, uh, in fact, to speed your your access to the to the master uh, program through what we call a, a combined bachelor master. Uh, so in essence, during your last uh, semester of your bachelor degree, we will typically allow you to take some advanced courses that will count towards your uh, your uh, your uh, your bachelor. So this way, you will uh, your your overall stay at Al-Hawail would be reduced. And obviously, we do this without any compromise. It's going to be more efficient. Absolutely, no compromise on the quality whatsoever. No compromise yeah. on the deliveries, but it's it's a more efficient way. But it's also, I have to say, it's a, a more economical way for yes. Uh, for so, Rashid, maybe maybe it's the the opportunity to brought up this question. Uh, uh, the question uh, is about uh, uh, when we talked. You talked about the relationship about bachelor and master. It doesn't mean uh, someone who is asking. I'm actually a software engineering student in my fourth year. I would like to know if I can access the last year of a graduate program directly. Talking about master of science, of course, without restudying the first year. And here again, like this is when we say about doing your bachelor at Al Akhawain, you prepares you to the master's degree. But when you come from another, uh, uh, another, uh, another school, mm -hmm. I guess we need to make sure that you are prepared to Absolutely. succeed in the master. I, I, I'd love to have you in in, in our uh, selection committees. <laughs> I think you, you. You, you got it right. Yes, in fact, the having earning a degree, a four-year degree. Uh, uh, elect you to uh, uh, to enter into the master's degree of Lahawe, but obviously uh, without any, we'll have to study your file and make sure that you have all the necessary prerequisites because we don't want you to embark on a program uh, that you cannot uh, complete. So we'll make sure if if there are some some foundation courses that you need to take, you you will have to take them. But otherwise, in general, if you are in the right discipline and then and, and, and usually you can go directly into the into into, into the, the, the so the the, the idea uh Absolutely. uh dr rashidi thank you uh, very much uh for uh, being uh, with us today and i would like to thank all the people who took the time and came here to talk about the different programs it's a lot of programs in the school of science uh, and, and engineering and uh, for those of you who uh, maybe uh, missed some part of this webinar you can rewatch it on experience aoi uh, dot, uh, dot com and you can also go to the al akhawain website in order to get more information or uh, if you have uh, want to re review the informations about the different uh, programs everything is in there everything is uh, is is on the website. Uh, I would like to uh, attract your attention to the fact that uh, uh, we're gonna meet next Sunday, inshallah, at uh, 3 p.m. دائما كل يوم الأحد على الساعة الثالثة زوالن. وغادين نطلقوا نطرقوا الباب ديال another school uh, tomorrow. It's gonna be uh, next week's gonna be the school of business uh, administration. و دكتور راشيدي غادي تكون غادي كل لعبة أدوميسي. دكتور راشيدي. And, and let me just maybe uh, if we can have uh, Dr. Rashidi uh, back uh, with us so that we can say uh, goodbye uh, properly. Uh, he's invited back on stage. I'm waiting for him uh, to join me. So next week, we're going to visit the School of Business Administration. you mean the School of Business Administration? Look at Barin to join us. How will the diploma for business administration? business administration. So make sure to register on experienceay.com to be notified for the next one. It's going to be Sunday, 3 p.m. Uh, mark your calendar. Tell your friends who might be interested in this program. Uh, spread the information so that we can share the most information. Uh, Dr. Rashidi, thank you. Thank you very much once again. My pleasure. Just one final word. Uh, yes. A, a truly, Al-Akhawain experience is unique uh, uh, in Africa, perhaps even in the world. Uh, uh, your engineering experience uh, will give you an extremely high uh, VOI value on, on investment. So, uh, and we're, we're very much focused on transforming you, like I said. So, uh, uh, and, 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 and the, 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 the success stories speak for us. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, uh, Doctor. Thank you for all of you who have been uh, with us uh, all along this uh, webinar. Uh, see you next uh, Sunday. And please, um, if you could uh, also give us your feedback, because with your feedback, we can improve. We can make this webinar uh, better. So uh, you, if you could take a few moments and uh, give us your uh, uh, feedback, a link going to be dropped on the sa uh, chat uh, section. You can, you can uh, give us your feedback. This, uh, this is the way we could uh, improve. Uh, this uh, webinar. So uh, see you on June 21st, next Sunday at 3 p.m. I'm going to go to the School of Business uh, Administration. Make sure to mark up your calendar and spread the information. Thank you very much and have a wonderful uh, beginning of the week.